Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we are doing a series with my good friend, Dr. Jason Crean, where we are debunking parrot food myths and answering some of the most commonly asked parrot nutrition questions. So really excited to dive in. There's gonna be lots of videos like this. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of them. But Jason, for anyone who's unfamiliar with you, would you mind just introducing yourself for everyone? Sure, my name is Jason Crean. Um, I am an aviculturist. I've been, I've had birds since I was 12 and that was a very, very long time ago. Um, and I have been um, interested in animal nutrition so much so that that's really what drove me to become a biologist. Um, I currently teach um, biology uh, topics at the university level. Um, I teach courses in animal nutrition, uh, zoo biology, uh, evolutionary biology, to name a few. Um, and I love talking about bird food. <laughs> Awesome. Well, with that in mind, let's dive straight in. So let's start with something that's a very hot topic um, in the parrot food world. And that is, are seeds bad for parrots? I feel like we started with, you know, people were just feeding all seeds. And obviously that's not great. But now we've kind of gone completely the opposite with people saying you should never feed seeds. They are awful. Jason, what is the scoop on this? What is the truth? So there's a lot of controversy because uh, first, there's a lack of education when it comes to bird nutrition by vets. Um, I know in our country, they really get like a day of parrot nutrition and it's um, it's very focused on processed pellets. Um, so that is a major thing. And the commercial industry has set up this war because you have to have, you have to demonize something to elevate your own you know product. And that's exactly what's happened. It's been the seed versus pellet war going on now since the 90s. Um, the problem with seeds is that that's all we used to feed or it was the predominant part of the diet. And that causes problems. But the, anytime you make one thing the predominant part of the diet, that's problematic. You need to diversify. Birds, birds are opportunistic in the wild. They eat all kinds of different things. Um, and we need to think about that when we're feeding our birds. Now, seeds are healthy. And I'm going to say that again. Seeds are healthy. And you can all quote me on this. Um, and when you look at the, the nutrition in seeds, for example, um, sunflower seeds are really nutritious. They help lower cholesterol. You can look in the, the American Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. They, they, there's entries in there about sunflower seeds. Um, and all the benefits they have to, to lowering cholesterol. Um, they're a protein powerhouse, and it's re it's you really need accessible protein, like bioavailable protein, and that's one really important place to get it. Um, they have great fats. Fats are important. They're not the F word. All of us, all animals need fat of some kind, and that's a good place to get healthy fats, um, among others. Sunflower seeds also have B vitamins and then, you know, vitamin E, they're a huge source of vitamin E, minerals like selenium and magnesium and things like that. So all of these benefits are in sunflower seeds, but you don't have to feed more than a few per day to your bird to get the benefit. So a bowl full of sunflower seeds is bad, but a bowl full of any one item is bad. And then I also hear the same about millet, that millet is empty calories, which could not be farther from the truth. All it takes is a Google search, a very simple Google search to look at what are, what's the nutrition that's in these foods. And, you know, millets are a cereal grain. They're, um, and they, they're, they're grown all over the world for all kinds of food. Uh, but when it comes to their nutrition profile, you know, they're also a source of fiber. They're uh, a great source of protein. Um, they have antioxidants. And you know, soaking and sprouting all of these different types of seeds also can give you a, a whole a whole host of different benefits because then you're converting what's stored in the seed into other uh, really important molecules, nutrition molecules for your animals. So you know, those are the two seeds I often hear demonized, and they have all kinds of benefits. It just shouldn't be the majority part of the diet. Definitely, and one of many ways that you can offer seeds is through training you know our birds probably aren't going to want to work for some of those lower value foods like for example vegetables which are super important but they're not going to be as reinforcing as 
tweaking the diet so you're only offering these high value things through training sessions with you via positive reinforcement but also foraging as well like seeds are perfect for foraging aren't they mm -hmm. absolutely because they're easy to hide they're easy to mix with other things um you know if you want to get your bird eating soaked and sprouted items that's that's often the gateway to better nutrition uh because those soaked and sprouted items are often soaked soaked and sprouted grains and seeds and that's a an, an easy gateway where the bird will recognize that as food so that's uh, usually the, the 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 best uh path to to get the meeting better absolutely so they can have soaked and sprouted seeds grains and legumes and that kind of thing in the morning and then the dry stuff can be reserved for your training sessions for foraging and for part of the evening meal as well so there you go guys myth debunked seed is not bad for your birds as long as that's not the only thing that they are being fed so guys i hope you enjoyed this video jason where can people find out more about you and what you're up to at the moment so i have uh social media channels dr jason cream um, on instagram which is dr jason cream c-r-e-a-n um, on instagram as well as biodiversity bird blends um, both there and on Facebook. And then if you search Avian Raw on Facebook, that'll come up with my group, Avian Raw Whole Food Nutrition, 21,000 plus members strong. Including the both of us. So awesome. So all the links are going to be down in the description for you to check out. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the future videos like this. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.